I wanted to do a little evening kind of reset with you guys and I have not worked out or done yoga in, in way too long. So before I make dinner, I think I will do that. I made dinner at like lunchtime and my lunch break for work because I did not meal prep. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do this, but it takes so much time to cook and stuff during the week that I really need to meal prep and get that going because this is not really sustainable, especially being a nine to five work from home person. So if you do not know that, I do work from home nine to five, five days a week. And yeah, I can do some productivity videos. I was planning on doing that a little bit in the future too, because I think that really helps people who work from home and it's a completely different animal. There's pros and cons to both sides, working from home, working out of the office, hybrid. And it's interesting times we're living in because I, as an introvert, absolutely adore li working from home and living from home. But you really do need to have boundaries in different spaces. And that's what I've noticed over the past couple of weeks. It's like, this is my bedroom and I go to over here and that is my office slash cooking slash eating slash relaxing place. And once I have couch, it might be a little bit easier. Right now, it feels a little bit like it's one big blob. <laughs> my little guy. It is time to whip you out. And these are my loop bands for working out. And yes, I've used them a little bit, but they are kind of strong. Um, I kind of feel like you either need to break them in or I just need to get used to it and I am so unfit. So probably a little bit of both, but let's do some yoga. There we go. So I haven't done yoga in so long, but I have tendonitis in my wrist. So I have to be kind of careful. You know what I should do? I should wear a wrist brace for this, shouldn't I? Probably, hang on, let me go get that. <laughs> So I feel like if you're gonna do something loving for yourself, then make sure it's incorporating all areas of your life, all aspects of being, I should say, because this is the body I'm working on, and here it's protecting the little hand. Let's go. done that in so long that felt so good is that bad that I'm out of breath from yoga <laughs> that unfit this is your little reminder to do something that is good for yourself today either drink more water than usual if it's do a little stretching if it's go for a run if you love running if it's go for a walk if it's take your dog out for a little bit longer this time do something that means something to you put in the time put in the dedication the effort It'll make all the difference in the long run. And trust me, your body, your mental health, your mind, your body and spirit will benefit from it. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my face, you ever do that and your nails are so long that you just like danger to your own self. Hang on. Okay, that should work. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gina. It's been three weeks now, which is insane to me, like absolutely insane. And there's so many emotions, so many things, so many feelings that have happened along the way. And yeah, I just wanna go through everything with you guys. Okay, that background was bothering me, so we're back. But yeah, I feel like, now it's hot. I'm gonna turn on the fan. <laughs> okay, we are back now. So on social media, it's so easy to see someone go through a move. And if you yourself have been wanting a change, if you've been, you know, desperate to move out, if you've been desperate to just have like something fresh in your life and something new in your life, you're longing for a change. You're longing for something different. You know, I have always been the person, a little story time for you guys. I've always been the person to resist change. And it's interesting because for someone who feels like she's very spiritual, which I am, I find it very interesting how resisting change is like resisting the catalyst of growth, resisting the essence of why we're here is to evolve, you know? And I'm trying to have grace to myself on that. And I think it's very easy to feel almost 
like you rather the comfortable comfortability as a human and that's so human and i think that's so okay and this entire experience has been so eye-opening already and i'm just so so excited about where i'm going with everything and I already feel like I've grown a lot in ways that I can go into a different video. But for now, I'll just say, I think it's easy to want to romanticize the past. It's easy to romanticize the past. And the past couple of weeks, I've found myself in places where I am thinking about the past a lot and thinking about scenarios in my head and interesting how we as humans remember what we want to remember. Not the moments that we so desperately crave to be where we're at right now. Like I long for so long to be where I'm at right now and I'm so thankful for that. And it took a lot of energy, a lot of manifesting, a lot of praying, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of can I really do this? A lot of is this really the right place for me? It's ironic looking back how all of that seems to fade away. All you remember are those little glossy moments that felt like home back then, you know? and newness will never feel like home in the beginning like change is hard for humans and i think romanticizing the past is okay and embracing those feelings and letting them just be and flow that is what's really helped me so if you are going through a change right now know that i'm with you and it is very hard to feel safe and secure in something that feels un unfamiliar to you you know so that is where i have been the past few weeks so yeah and if you see this in the background right there you see it that is my little bed razors and risers razors my bed risers as i am so allergic to dust mites that even sitting on this carpet i'm trying not to sneeze right now so i put it up high and i, I figured that would help me a little bit and it has so but yeah a little bit of an update i bought my couch i'll insert a little video either here or here or a little picture and yeah you guys oh my gosh I'm so happy. I um, have to wait a few more weeks for that to finally come in. As soon as it does, let's one step closer to being able to feel like this is all like complete. In the past couple of weeks, I feel like I've integrated my energy a lot more. Like there's like any empty new place feels foreign, you know, but I feel like that's fading so fast. And I wasn't sure in the beginning, I was a little bit nervous about that because this is so new. And I was like, is this really feeling like home? Like how do I make that happen? And just putting my stuff everywhere really does help. And yes, it is everywhere because stuff doesn't have a home right now, but it's really helping just the fact that like I got a couch and that is coming in middle of September. And then I have to find a rug for that. And I also have to find, I have a ton of books and the other book lovers out there. Let me get some right here. Let me show you guys. Oh gosh. Okay. This is one of them. It's called The Present Christ, Further Steps in Meditation. And this is all about just like spiritual guidance and Christ consciousness and religion in a sense that it's like a very open-minded conversation and I love it. This is most notably one of the best books to read. It is Good to Great by Jim Collins. And yes, I bounce around books. I am one of those people who have like seven different books I'm reading all at once. So yeah, I'm reading this as well. And I keep these all by my dresser just to like feel do you feel this too? You feel like you're in a mood for a certain book and that's the book you'll read. So I'm like dabbling in seven to like maybe 10 books <laughs> at once, but it works, it works. I just need to, you know, finish them eventually. But oh my gosh, do you guys, you've seen this in my other vlog. One thing about me, I love Paulo Coelho. Like I love this author so, so much. And this is called, Paulo Coelho's book called Manuscripts Found in Acura. And it is absolutely beautiful, like beautiful. Let me read a little excerpt for you guys. My heart, okay. So this is a little excerpt from this book. This is all about solitude. So it's very accurate to how I feel right now because I'm in a lot of solitude. And he goes, because love needs to rest so that it can journey through the heavens and reveal itself in other forms. Without solitude, no plant or animal can survive, no soil can remain productive, no child can learn about life, no artist can create, no work can grow and be transformed. Solitude is not the absence of love, but it's complement. Solitude is not the absence of company, but the moment where our soul is free to speak to us and help us decide what to do with our life. My heart. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. I am 
so big on like just being an introvert in my own little space and having my own little energy around me and but yeah i feel like it's easy for me to get absorbed and sucked into just being alone and wanting to be alone choose over choosing experiences and that's like the introvert in me i don't know if you guys relate do you relate put it in the comments below and say a little hi and shout out because i will respond back um I, yeah i absolutely see you if you're like me and not that you don't want like relationship not that you don't want to connect with people it's just a deeper level of intimacy when you're by yourself that feels more secure you know and you're comfortable in that and funnily enough this entire move i feel like that's one thing that i'm noticing and that was really quite timely to read that because i feel like i've always loved solitude but there's a part of me that's having like almost like this growing moment of realizing that I don't know if I really ever trusted myself in that. Like there's a part of me that feels like having someone's presence around is almost like safer. Like someone you love, someone you, you care about and you know, you know, is safer than just being alone with yourself. Like, you know, what if something happens? What if you need someone, you know? And those little what ifs will keep you ungrounded and will keep you feeling like you don't have it all within yourself, which you do. Because we are drops of the divine. We are drops of the divine. And every single part of God's support is within us, as much as it out outside of us. Like divinity is within as much as it without. And you have everything within you that you need. You have everything around you to support the life that you've always dreamed. And God is of us, for us, through us, within us, beyond us all of the above. So there's really nothing to fear. There's really nothing to hold on to, but the love within yourself and outside of yourself. We go. I um, baked cookies last night and I said to myself, okay, this is adulting 101. You ready for this? I was like, I need to make dinner. And I got up, I went to go get the chicken out the, the well, out the freezer, right? And I meant to get it out the fridge. And I'm like, this is how you know you're burnt out with work and life and routine and you're trying to balance it all because clearly I'm not doing that. And I went to go to the freezer and I'm like, you need to defaw the chicken in order to cook the chicken. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> so I ended up making cookies for dinner and then breakfast for dinner after I realized I can't, that's not substantial and that's not healthy. So, so yeah, it's been a week, you guys. It's been a, it's been a lot, it's been a lot. But we made yummy cookies and I'll show you guys the recipe. I made gluten and dairy free, sugar free with coconut sugar. So it sounds disgusting. It does not taste like cardboard. It actually tastes really good. And I'll show you guys and you can make the recipe and let me know in the comments that you agree. It's so bad that I ate the entire box. So you know what I do? I put my cookies in the freezer, right? Thinking that it will prevent me from eating the entire box. But no, apparently baking gluten and dairy free with almond flour and coconut flour, it has a very dense consistency. So when you freeze it, it tastes 10 times better. So now here I am eating my 10 times better cookies than they originally were. They don't freeze either because gluten-free flours tend to not freeze unless it's rice flour. So even, even that, I don't think, don't quote me on that, but this just doesn't freeze and it's like soft. Let me see if you can see it. Look at this. It's just soft and chewy. Oh my gosh. So good. Mm. Cinnamon raisin, really good. I'll put the recipe in. I'll make a recipe for you guys for this because it's like one of those box mi mixes, but I tweak it. Do you do that too? It's like doctoring up cake mixes I used to do back in the day, but I doctor up cookie mixes because your girl loves cookies. Cookies are my favorite dessert. Comment below what emoji is your favorite dessert. Mine's cookies. Anyway, this is my office setup and I added this little guy. I made this back in the day and um, I just want to have the beachy vibes in my office because I feel like it really does help me calm down and relax. So then I got my little succulent there and my little diffuser and I'm not going to show you guys too much because I'm going to be doing a furnished apartment tour very soon. I love the energy of plants. They're just so sacred and so special and I love having it here. Love, love, love.
fairy lights and I'll show you a little clip of me enjoying them all the way over here. so many more videos coming soon and let me know in the comments what you would like to see in this series yeah and i'll take into consideration add it into the list but definitely stay tuned i think that it's been good to just take the past couple of weeks to just sit with myself and oh, there's a little hummingbird oh my god oh, hi little guy you guys pause my adhd self needs to say something real quick i was sitting here putting up the lights and this was so moving, I cried. And I was putting up the lights, all of a sudden, I'm like, this little hummingbird comes up to my face, my face. Literally, this is the distance from the camera to you and to me, that's how far it was. And it was sitting there and just sitting there, flying, flapping its wings, just doing. And I was like, oh my God. Just like looking into its soul, like animals are so sacred and ah, uh, so beautiful. They're literally us, like we're all one, everything's connected. And to look into an animal and look into its face and its eyes, and like you could see yourself, you can see creation and connect with that. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Today's video I meant to end it a little bit earlier but I didn't in the end so stay tuned for more videos coming your way I wanted to do this kind of night like a little just an update on my end what's going on what's been happening the past couple weeks just needed to take some time to just reflect on everything that I shared with you today so yeah I hope you guys are okay I hope you're taking care of yourself I hope you're getting in some self-love and some self-care and some rest. I am so tired, as you can probably hear my voice. So I'm about to watch a Netflix series with my boyfriend. You guys ever do this with your friends or your partners? You have a series that you watch together and it's so tempting to like watch, not without them, I wouldn't do it. It's just so tempting to keep going with it. And you get to like look forward to next episodes and stuff with them, but you carry on the series. You're like watching it for like two months. So that's what we've been that's doing. That's what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. So until next time, I wish you guys so much love. I need to sleep because I'm falling asleep. And yeah, stay tuned. Thank you so much for being here. All of your comments and reading them, being able to respond to them and your likes, that means so much to me, you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And join this little family that we are growing. And let's get up to 100 subs. I will see you next week with a new video. Until then, be love and take care of yourself. Bye, guys.